Well, now let's check in quickly on how the bond markets are trading with Simon Michelle from Fig Securities. Simon, thanks for being with us. Now, yields are bouncing around. What do you make of what's going on in bonds? Good afternoon, Helen. And yes, look, after about a month, really, of safe haven flows where we've seen really good, strong demand for bonds, we've just in the last couple of days seen that turn around. Um, the US 10-year yield, for example, from last month is down around 40 basis points. Uh, and so, you know, we've seen a bit of profit taking from bondholders there. If you bought at the peak and uh, sold your bond today, you've made about 3%. So there's been quite a bit of uh, value in that uh, drop in the yields over the last four weeks. All right, and then what did you make of the, uh, you know, this sweeping tax reform plan is supposedly coming soon? Well, this is right, the next, uh, the next big uh, item off the Trump agenda. And, uh, look, people have certainly got excited by uh, the Treasury Secretary's uh, comments that it's just around the corner. Uh, the bond market likes the devil in the detail, though, so I don't think you're going to see much movement, really, in our market until we see some details about the size of that. All right, and very briefly, geopolitical risks. We've got the French first part of the French election on Sunday. That's absolutely right, Helen. Everyone's going to be eyes on France to see how that election comes in through sort of Sunday night, Monday morning, and uh, that'll be really... A real key driver. If there's any surprises, it's likely to lead to quite a lot of volatility in markets early next week. All right. Simon Michelle from Fig Securities, thank you. Thanks, Helen.